Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a quick upgrade on my IS300. These door lights right here, which are red, I don't really like them. And there's an upgrade to make them clear. So I've got these clear housings and lenses off of late 90s or mid 90s Lexus ES300 that fit into this hole. They're not the exact fit, but the lens actually fits in here and it looks pretty good to be clear. So stay tuned to join me for this quick upgrade. Before we get started on today's video, I wanted to show you guys this Top Dawn Tornado 4000 battery charger I picked up. This thing is only like $28 on Amazon. And if you're like me, I have two cars and I don't drive both of them all the time. So the one that's parked for like over a week or two weeks usually gets a drained battery. So I picked up this thing to kind of trickle charge and maintain my battery. And this thing is pretty nice for $28. Looks like it charges up to four amps and it actually does a lot of different batteries. Lead acid, which is their normal battery, it does lithium ion, does 12 volts and six volts. You could use this for motorsports, lawn and garden, marine, and just regular automotive stuff. I just needed it to charge my batteries when I don't drive after a while, and this is gonna be the perfect add-on to my garage and my tools so I could actually charge my batteries. So overall, this thing is pretty hefty for a four amper, which you expect for it to push that kind of amps. And it comes with two different plugs right here. It comes with this plug right here, which you can permanently attach to your battery terminals and leave this somewhere to plug up and charge. And then it comes with your normal alligator clips that you can just clip on the terminals when you need them. As far as the length of the wire goes, it looks like a pretty sizable length. This looks like maybe a six to an eight foot wire over here. This should be plenty of length to find your nearest outlet in your garage so you can actually use it and charge your batteries. So for my car, since I work from home, I don't really drive my car much. I might drive it like a couple times a week. And then I also drive it to the airport and park it there every week when I travel. As far as this battery lasting, I actually put a marine battery in here like a year and a half ago. And this thing is starting to go out on me. So after like a week of not driving this car, this thing drains on me. So I need to actually keep it on a trickle charger all the time, or at least a battery tender to keep it full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug up this thing right here, this thing also comes with an inline fuse in case something happens, which you always wanna have some kind of inline fuse in case there's a short. Upon initial startup, you'll see this blue sign right here, or the blue LED, that means it's on standby. And you'll see the norm blinking. To get it to the correct voltage or the correct battery type, you hit the mode button twice. So you wanna hit this twice. And then after that, you could toggle between the different modes. So we just got a normal 12 volt battery here. So we'll go back and toggle there. And then you hit it once again to confirm the charge. And then once it confirms the charge, it'll stay steady and then it'll start charging and it'll indicate the percentage right here as it goes. It'll take several minutes to determine how much charge it's got in the battery, but that thing will start filling up later. There is a repair option right here. I'm assuming the repair option is to actually repair the battery by doing several charge and discharge cycles. So according to the instructions, the repair mode actually does an engine pulse charging. So this is an advanced recovery for storing and repairing old idle batteries. So I found these lenses on one of my junkyard trips and they look like they fit at the time and I had read somewhere about them. So I just pulled them off the car while I was there. I looked at these before and I think this back area is actually the same on the IS300. It's the Toyota Ichiko 12 volt PP. So I think this is the exact same on the IS. The only difference is the lens. This lens is pretty much flat. I think the red one has got an angle and a taper to it. Once we take it out, we'll compare the two. Once I'm in there, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some new LED bulbs I got from Novesight. So these are 194s designed for the little small bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap all those out and change them to these. First thing we wanna do is just pop this one out. The easiest way is to just actually pop your actual door panel right here on the edge. So you get your hand behind there and actually pop it out. Just get this thing under here and then just, and just pry that off. Put your finger back there and then you just pull this thing out. We'll go ahead and compare this side by side with the clear one. As you can see the back piece, is exactly the same as the one that came out of the ES. Nothing is different about it. It's got the same markings and everything on it. The only difference is this lens right here. So we could go ahead and just pop this lens off right here. Reuse the IS one if we want. Bulb out, put in the new ones. 
So on these Novsite ones, I'm not sure if they're polarized or not. They don't really say they are. They are CAN bus according to the writing on them. So we wanna just go in here and test it out before we finalize the install. So we're back over here. I've got the Novsite in there. Go ahead and plug it in. So that works that way. Let me see if I flip it around. So player doesn't matter with the nose sights. You can put them in either way and they'll work. So we're good with this. I'll go ahead and snap the clear lens on and put it back together. We got the clear lens, just snap it in. Put it back on here. And there it is. It's, if you see this in person, you'll notice it's recessed, but from far away, it doesn't really matter. and You can't really notice it. All right, we're on the other side. Should be pretty easy to pop this guy off too. The ones that come with the IS are actually left and right oriented with the R and the L on them. The clear ones don't have any of that orientation on them. Easy peasy. Hey guys, thanks for tuning all the way to the end of this quick video. As you can see, this upgrade looks really cool now with this clear white LED versus the red one. And it's a very simple two minute install. The hardest part is gonna be finding this white clear lens. I'll post the part number down in the description once I look up from the ES300 and see if you can actually buy it from the dealer still. Your best bet is to go find a U-Pick junkyard and, and find one of the mid to late 90s ES300s. They should use this one along with the LS's and some of the other Lexus's from that era. If you guys need that battery charger or the light bulbs or anything, go ahead and check out the links down in the description. I've got links to Amazon. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet to stay on top of my different projects for the IS300, the IS250, the Sienna, whatever I'm doing in the garage, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. Remember guys, for all these projects, whether they're big or they're small, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.